seconds, look him right in the eyes. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Why are you still standing there? Hurry before the meeting begins. All right, don't rush me. Need a few moments to prepare myself. Why are you myself. still standing there? Hurry before the meeting begins. Okay, okay, I'm going. the lock too. Figures. Okay. Night mother. Make room. Alone? Yes. <laughs> yes! Alone! <laughs> Sweet solitude! No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never... Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble sir. But he will never hear my voice, for he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you, for you are the one. Yes. You, you who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones, I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero, the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. 
darkness rises when silence dies. What? What <laughs> treachery? <laughs> defiler, debaser, and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! <laughs> Speak, worm! The Night Mother spoke to me, and she said that I am the one. She spoke to you? More treachery, more trickery and deceit! You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She said to tell you that darkness rises when silence dies. She... she said that. She said those words to you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> By Sithis, this ends now. <laughs> Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Yes. I'm fine. Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? It's true. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said that I was the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? I must speak to someone named Amand Motier in Volenrude. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Volenrude, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. Then I should go to Volenrude, and I should speak to this man. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Ah. It's good. 
to be home. Oh, you are the listener, you are the listener. <laughs> you serve rather well, I have. <laughs> Dear Cicero, you know me to be the one. Oh, you are the listener, you are the Just listener. Just as the night you mother knows. <laughs> As the night mother knows only too well. <laughs> Sithis has returned. Continue your business here, Cicero. But remember who your true master is. <laughs> to a special technique I developed. I call it the razor-winged butterfly. i teach it to you, but then I'd have to kill you. Nazir. So many contracts, so little time. Astrid wanted me to see you about some more work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Go on now. Very well. all. I need to find an orc named Lerbunk and kill him. And in the meantime, I'll also work on my alchemy. You see my mother? I'm still waiting for her to come home. Oh no. I hope you have someone to stay with in the, in the meantime. I'm sure his mother is probably dead. And this this land with the war going on. All right, let's see about this Lurbuk. Finally, someone comes in. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but time these days. Hmm. Now, how do I kill the book? Yana, do you think the townspeople are warming to my serenades? No, they ain't. And they aren't gonna. If you weren't paying for your room, I'd have thrown you out a long time ago. Uh -huh. Yes, but they'll come around eventually. You'll see. Ah, uh, shouldn't be surprised if they come around, and if you're never seen or heard from again. Ah, 
good. He's going to bed. I'll use the one's gift, the pestilence dagger. I still think I prefer, like, calling him the master, but it's whatever. Whatever he prefers. And whatever I remember. All right, let's look him right in the eyes. I just noticed the, the poison turns the hair white. <laughs> I think I, I think I saw that on some of the other victims and didn't really pay attention to it. If these were his things, he's certainly not going to need them now. Have a good night. All right, the next stop is... Hearn. All right, here we are, the Half Moon Mill. someone else here. Someone's here, but I can't see them. Thought there, yes, there is someone over there. getting to them without being seen. Maybe that's just what it's going to have to take.
she go? There. Wow, resisted the venom. Vampire. I should have known. All right. That takes care of them both. I think that concludes my contracts. All right, it's time to get back to the Dark Brotherhood sink. Wait, what's this? Creatures, spiders. Poisoned apples. All right, now it's time to get back to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. We need to uh, talk. Uh, what? Has the time come? Will I now serve the Night Mother? Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree. Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Hmm. All right. turn in these contracts but to be outnumbered 20 to 1 is here you reek of death my friend do i, I salute you <laughs> lerbuk is dead wonderful the only good bard is a dead one as far as i'm concerned <laughs> all that singing and mirth your payment as per the usual thank you and Hearn is also dead, and I threw in Hurt as a bonus. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of, else you'll end up like our own Babette. <sighs> Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. I couldn't remember if they were vampires or not. I thought there was a briefing that I might not have paid attention to, but anyway, it's done. Uh, do you have any more contracts available? Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. Oh, and here I thought that they, we were just brimming with contracts, people wanting to be killed, people wanting to want to kill people, ah, Festus. Too much of an obsession these days with me, brother. 
What's going on with you? Let's see. What are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? Uh, their arrival is the best thing that's happened to the Sanctuary in years. Hmm. Astrid is an effective leader, but we've been rudderless for too long. Scrounging for contracts, abandoning the tenants, the Dark Brotherhood has been reduced to a group of common cutthroats. Frankly, it's embarrassing. Hmm, I think the one would be pleased with your attitude. Any advice on my current contract? So you're the listener, eh? Well, that hardly seems fair. You just got here. The Night Mother should have spoken to me. Any idiot could see that. But I will serve gladly, as that's my lot in life. Now, let's see. Yeah. Volan Rune. Well, that's an old crypt, infested with Draugr, so plan accordingly. All right, thank you. And I'm sorry that you weren't chosen as listener, but I didn't just get here. I was sent here. This is all part of an intricate plan. <laughs> Stay safe. Does death not come to us all? Is it not a certainty? I am therefore honored to be Doom's herald, to play some so, part in the fiend's inevitable end. You must be talking about Brother. the caravan. Well, you're not the only herald. It's Do the you have any advice on my current contract? If the Night Mother truly spoke to you, if you really are the listener, your destiny was written in the void. Astrid is right to fear your power. <laughs> It's not my power that she should be afraid of. <laughs> and what are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? If the Night Mother truly spoke to you, if you really are the listener, your destiny was written in the void. Astrid is right to fear your power. Oh, the fear, yet again. <laughs> All right, then. Until next time, brother. Yes. All right, so still no one. Here. Yes, What's I'm still matter? here. Can't handle what I'm throwing your way. You're not throwing anything my way. That's the problem. All right, brother. I haven't talked to you. It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. <laughs> I bet. Ah. Uh. Do you have any advice on my current contract? The man you need to speak with. His name is Motier. That's a very old and powerful Breton family, firmly established in Sierra Dill. Most curious. That's it. Well, what are your thoughts on Cicero and the Night Mother? Two hundred years ago, I would have lain down my life for the unholy matron. But that age is long since past. Astrid is my matron now. Hmm, I'll keep that in mind. Stay safe. All right. I suppose my next stop is Volenrude.